this video I'll be taking some of the questions from fluid kinematics and dynamics okay so let's take on the first question an ideal water jet with volume flow rate that is Q have been has been given as 0 0.05 meter cube per second strikes a flat plate flat plate placed normally to its path okay so water is coming like this and it's going like this okay and it exerts a force of 1000 Newton considering the density of water as 1000 kilogram per meter cube the diameter of the water jet is okay so from uh, uh, let this be this is x direction this is y direction can I say from uh, impulse momentum principle that force exerted in x direction is equal to rate of change of momentum in the x direction yes okay so force is equal to rate of change of momentum in the x direction okay let its velocity in the x direction be v1 okay and the final velocity in the x direction will be zero okay because there is no velocity in this direction final velocity okay so that means m dot v1 that means rho a v1 by n to v1 which is rho a v1 square also you learn this formula so f is equal to rho a v1 square f is given as 1000 newton rho a v1 square can I write it like this into to v1 this a v is discharge so rho is 1000 discharge is 0 0.05 meter cube per second v1 we have to find which is equal to 1000 solve this we get v1 as uh, 20 meter per second okay now what we have to do we have to find out the diameter discharge is equal to area into velocity area is pi by 4 d square into v q is 0 0.05 meter cube per second velocity is 20 meter per second you can find out d solve it d you will get as 0 0.0564 meters okay check in what units you have to give the answer the diameter in mm so the answer will be 56.41 mm okay question on your basics next question for an incompressible flow field V vector which one of the following conditions must be satisfied okay let's uh, see first of all the generalized continuity equation okay let me write the generalized continuity equation okay keyword is for an incompressible flow okay so generalized continuity equation is del by del x of rho u plus del of rho v by del y plus del of rho w by del z plus del rho by del t is equal to zero okay u v and w are the velocity components in x y and z direction respectively rho is density t is time you know this thing okay next this can be written as d rho by dt plus rho del dot v vector okay where this d rho by dt is del rho by del t plus it's pure mathematics okay plus in the y direction plus w del rho by del z this d rho by dt is this uh, this equation whereas del dot v vector is divergence divergence of velocity vector which is equal to let me write it completely del u by del x plus del v by del y 
plus del w by del z okay so in this way in this way we can write this generalized continuity equation it's pure mathematics okay and when you will you know you can uh, trace back this equation from these two equations okay so the keyword is for an incompressible flow field okay for an incompressible fluid can i say that d rho by dt will be zero there will be no change in the density of the fluid okay so let me write it again plus rho delta v vector is equal to zero this is zero because the keyword is an incompressible fluid density will be same remain same okay so this leaves me with del vector is equal to zero this is the condition for an incompressible flow field okay so the answer is a that the divergence of velocity is zero okay a siphon is used to drain water from a large tank as shown in the figure below assume that the level of water is maintained constant uh ignore frictional effect due to viscosity and losses at entry and exit at the exit of siphon the velocity of water is okay uh datum has been given in the figure okay you have to find the velocity of water let at at point r so let here the velocity of water be vr okay let the velocity of water be vr this is uh atmospheric pressure acting i mean at this point atmospheric pressure uh, sorry at this point atmospheric pressure is acting at p point and at r point also the pressure acting is atmospheric okay apply the bernoulli's equation between p and r apply bernoulli's equation between p and r okay that is pp by rho g plus vp square by 2g plus zp from this data is equal to pr by rho g pr by rho g plus vr square by 2g plus zr and we have to neglect the frictional losses okay so this will be the equation now the pressure here is atmospheric here is atmospheric this gets cancelled out okay vp what is vp square here the fluid is stagnant so vp is equal to 0 great so this is also 0 zp is the height of this level from the datum zp is equal to vr square by 2g and zr zr is the height of this point where we have to find the velocity from the datum okay find out vr that will be 2g zp minus zr see the options i guess it is yeah p it's p okay next question a flow field which has only convective acceleration is okay uh students generally get confused in this type of uh, question in these type of questions let me explain this completely okay suppose this is acceleration vector which is ax i cap plus ay j cap plus az k cap where ax ay az are the acceleration components in x y and z direction respectively okay and this ax is written as u del u by del x plus v del u by del y plus w del u by del z plus del u by del t this you have studied okay this is the formula this you have studied where u v and w okay are the components of velocity in x y and z direction respectively okay this is u del u by del t okay so this acceleration consists of two components these three make the convective acceleration okay and 
this part is the local acceleration or sometimes you say it as temporal acceleration okay great now uh, ay and az cal can also be represented similarly in the way which we have uh, written ax okay so now the question is a flow field which has only convective acceleration okay now i will tell you one more point that this uh with with uh the point is related to these two words steady and steady uniform and non uniform okay steady unsteady that implies these words say that the flow changes with time okay see from this equation 1 which component of acceleration change with time local or temporal so this steady unsteady flow is actually governed or can i uh, can i say if uh, i mean this steady unsteady flow depends upon this local acceleration component okay whereas uniform non uniform flow they change with space okay and this affects the convective acceleration okay so i guess now you will be able to do this question a flow field which has only convective acceleration okay only convective acceleration that means local acceleration should be zero local acceleration is zero that means the flow is steady okay one uh conclusion i've got that a flow is steady because there should be only convective acceleration okay and if it is a uniform flow the convective acceleration will also be zero so the flow should be non uniform the second con conclusion i've got is it should be non uniform combine these two conclusions what you will get the flow should be non uniform and steady that is option c okay G uh let me give you a short table also for this uh type of flow type of flow convective local okay type of flow let the first type of flow is steady and uh, uniform okay so steady flow that means local acceleration will be zero convective uh, sorry uniform flow that is convective will also be zero okay next let us take this steady and non uniform uniform flow and non uniform flow change with space and that affects the convective acceleration so if the flow is non uniform that means convective will not be zero it will exist and steady and unsteady changes with time and that affects the local or temporal acceleration so that means it is a steady flow that means local acceleration will be zero great now next case we take as unsteady and uniform okay unsteady and uniform so the flow is unsteady that means local acceleration will be there but the flow is uniform that means convective acceleration will be zero great and the next is the next is unsteady unsteady and non uniform i hope you guys are able to see this unsteady and non uniform okay unsteady means local acceleration will be there and the flow is also non uniform that means the convective acceleration will also be there okay i hope this exhaustive description of this question will clear oh, i mean a is not the option i'm trying to say that this exhaustive description of this question uh i think will clear your doubts and uh, you will be able to solve all types of uh, questions related to this convective acceleration and local acceleration okay next question consider the following statements regarding streamlines 
the first is it is a continuous line such that the tangent at any point on it shows the velocity vector at that point correct it is correct it is actually the definition of a streamline second is there is no flow across streamlines absolutely correct third yes this is the equation this is the differential equation of a streamline okay this is also correct where u v and w are velocities in directions x y and z respectively okay this is the differential equation we use to find the equation of a streamline okay next in an unsteady flow the path of a particle is a streamline what do you mean by the path of a particle path of a particle that means it is path line path of a particle is path line na so in an unsteady flow is the path line same as streamline no in steady flow only the path line and streamline are same okay so 1 2 and 3 are correct see the options and take the answer the next question okay so uh this question is somewhat based on uh, generalized continuity equation which i have uh, explained earlier in this video let's again write the generalized continuity equation first okay then we will solve this question you will get a better clarity so what was the generalized continuity equation write down or uh, if you want to try the question yourself before seeing the solution it would be better so now if you have tried this question a uh, generalized continuity equation let me write this generalized continuity equation okay this is oh, sorry plus del by del x rho u plus del of rho v by del y plus del of rho w by del z is equal to 0 which can be written in the form d rho by dt plus rho divergence of velocity and it is equal to 0 this is the generalized continuity equation okay now start checking the options okay first option is the curl the curl of velocity vector is zero that means the flow is a rotational okay this is simple so p i will match with 3 a rotation i'll strike this out okay it is done next divergence is zero we have uh, done the same type of question previously i guess second or third question uh i mean the question was the condition you have to find some condition so divergence of zero divergence of velocity is zero it is the case of incompressible incompressible continuity equation so i will match q with one i have explained this okay in the uh previous question i guess second or third question let's strike this out also now this is the total derivative of velocity okay the so total derivative of velocity is zero that means zero acceleration of fluid particle this is also simple so r i will match with 4 okay you can check the options and get the answer it is a c s s actually this is written wrong this is actually del v vector by del t is equal to 0 and which signifies steady flow okay so the answer will be c next question the velocity field of an incompressible flow keyword incompressible flow is given by oh this is some equation where a1 is 2 and c3 is minus 4 okay the value of b2 is the velocity field of an incompressible flow what is the condition of an incompressible flow i have proved it in the previous uh, second or third question i guess the same divergence of velocity vector is zero okay this is the condition i have proved it right previously in this uh, video so divergence of velocity vector is zero now what what you have to do is del by del x i cap plus del by del y 
j cap plus del by del z k cap dot this v vector this v vector okay by seeing this question one i mean a student can get confused that there are a number of variables a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 how can you find the value of b2 from just one equation so be assured that if the gate paper setters have given this question they must have uh, set this question by keeping in mind that the other variables will either get cancelled out or they will either get zero so when you solve this when you solve this you will get one equation that is a1 plus b2 plus c3 rest will get zero or rest will get cancelled out okay you can solve this simple dot product okay so a1 is 2 plus b2 we have to find out c3 is minus 4 is equal to 0 so that implies b2 is equal to 2 fill the answer okay next question so three questions you see three questions on this concept three four questions on this concept that the velocity of an incompressible flow you have to use this condition okay uh, next question <coughs> <coughs> if the fluid velocity for a potential flow is given by this uh, equation with usual notations then the slope of the potential line at x y is okay before starting this question firstly we must know about velocity potential function okay velocity potential function is actually denoted by phi and is a scalar such that del phi by del x is equal to minus u and del phi by del y is equal to minus v okay and u and v are the x and y components of velocity respectively okay uh, now we can write f sorry phi is, e is a function of x and y okay differentiate it d phi is equal to del phi by del x into dx plus del phi by this is pure mathematics okay dy now along equipotential line potential function is constant so can I say d phi is 0 yes I can say this therefore 0 is equal to del phi by del x dot dx plus del phi by del y dot dy okay now del this is del phi okay this is phi so del phi by del x is minus u put here del phi by del y is minus v put here minus u dx minus v dy is 0 slope is given by dy by dx arrange rearrange this these terms okay you will get dy by dx is minus u by v so the slope of potential line at xy is minus u by v and you also remember this result as a direct formula okay so the answer will be b i have just proved this you also remember this result as a direct formula so the answer will be b b thank you